What's up, fight fans? Greetings from the Wrestleverse. This is Lady J, and it's time to take it to the ring. All right, today we are reviewing New Japan Pro Wrestling Nemesis. And talking about Nemesis, we have TJP versus the DKC. So the DKC comes out representing LA Dojo. And then we have TJP, and he's coming out with his hood is still on. There is still drama between TJP leaving and turning his back on the LA Dojo guys. And because of that, DKC comes flying straight out of the gate with a flying drop kick on TJP and is just wailing on the guy. TJP sneaks out of the ring, whew, get out of here until he gets a chance. And then here comes another drop kick by DKC through, through the ropes, bashing TJP into the barricade. Explosive body slamming, only for quick covers though. But TJP turns the table and cranks up the hurt on the limbs of DKC. The crowd starts chanting, TJP. And the opposing crowd follows with a book. Oh yeah. TJP, he's avoiding this drop kick. And then we get this slingshot sent on by TJP. And he is finally taking the lead on this match. DKC gets tricky though. And a drop toe holds up TJP's feet. But boy, does he pay for that maneuver. Oh yeah. One sweet leg drop kick to the face of TJP. And DKC is karate chopping the life out of TJP and finished with a bulldog. They call this the TK fire. But it reminds me of a reversed get over my freaking knee. I'm going to whoop your chest. Okay. So we get two drop kicks and somehow TJP was like a second faster and hits him at the same time. And a big mama splash from the top rope finishes DKC and gives TJP the win. Oh yeah, there's some heat there, guys. All right, our next fight card. We have Jordan Clearwater and his new tag team partner, Kaida Murray versus Bullet Club members, Hikaleo and Chris Bay. Oh, this Golden Boy Alliance, they just decided to poke fun of the Bullet Club's too sweet, woo, right? And they made a big ordeal out of their like, Oh, regular and Jake. Okay, so Bay and Murray start off. Bay's legs have like eyes of their own, taking down Murray while he's like upside down and backwards. But Murray, he puts the stretcher on Bay, looking for a three quarter Nelson. And oh shoot, Hikaleo got tagged in. He's a whole foot taller than the Golden Boy. Jordan's shoulder tackles. They don't do a thing against Hikaleo. And then Chris Bay sneaks in this cheap shot while the ref wasn't looking. And then do you see this? Look at this, this upside down tornado attack. Where is this coming from, Chris Bay? And then we have, like, he hasn't even broken a sweat. It's amazing. Murray, however. Murray knows how to leverage his height difference with Hikaleo. He is pushing this big guy around. I can't even believe it. And then out of nowhere, Chris Bay comes back in and he gets schooled by Murray. Hikaleo and Bay, they decide they're going to play a little sleight of hand. And they knock out Murray with this flying kick from out of nowhere, at least if you're in the ring, to end this match. It's like magic. Now I'm here. Now I'm not. Now you're taking a freaking flying kick from out of nowhere. It's unbelievable. You have to see it for yourself. Now, moving on to the big match of the night. The Mad King, Eddie Kingston versus Gabriel Kidd. So poor Gabriel Kidd, he comes out. And, you know, he's, he's confident. He knows what he's doing. But freaking Eddie, Eddie's looks could kill and he greets Kid with this big old middle finger before this match even begins. 
Eddie, he doesn't like that whole traditional knuckle dragon, and he swats off Kid until they lock up in a real clinch. The crowd is chanting, F him up, Eddie, F him up. Oh, yeah, crowd favorite here. So Kid barely ducks Eddie's swinging hammer strike, and Eddie reminds him, just, oh, just how close. How close he was. Ooh, gives himself the chills. So Kid opens himself up to getting his chest chopped to hell. Oh, Daryl. No Eddie, Gabriel he's Kidd is fighting bleeding. dirty. He got eye pokes, headbutt. Although, do not kick that man's back or shove his head while he's sitting, though. Eddie gets up and just slaps Kid around. Like he's a kid. Like he just spoke back to his mama. I'll slap you talking back to me. At one point, Eddie is just inviting Gabriel to hit him. Hit me! And like when it isn't working, Eddie slaps him up silly again, knocking kid down. People talk about like slugfest, but this, this was a chop fest. We're all at this point very surprised that Kid is still in the fight. And he creates some space with his specialty, the European uppercut. Yes, Cesar likes that one too. <clears throat> and the chest chops continue. And they move up to face slaps, nasty face slaps, back to the chest slaps. And then they're like, staggering and they're yelling at each other. I mean, this is like a like macho man exhibition match. But don't blink though. Kid sneaks in a Sato suplex and Kid gets a two count cover on Eddie Kingston. Oh, oh, exploder for you and an exploder for you too. Ooh, and a brain buster on Eddie. Shh. Now it's quiet, except for the claps of the fans to will their champions up off the mat. No, 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 no butterfly suplex for you, kid. Just a big DDT from Eddie. Kid, he's still in this fight. He's holding off Eddie, but a couple kicks to your head, and Eddie he finally gets in a big old powerbomb for this frantic, like, ugh, kick out at 2.99. The crowd is now chanting, this is awesome, because it is. A powerful back fist fires up Kid head. to deliver a German suplex. And Eddie doesn't oh, land right. It doesn't look right. This, this Another swinging it. back fist two, followed by a three, suplex. And Eddie Kingston finally wins. The crowd, the crowd clearly loves Eddie's win. Oh yeah, we love it too. Did you see all these awesome shots? Whew, when he calmed down, that was crazy. So we here at Take It to the Ring, we like to give an overall fight card rating. So number five being the best is fight forever. A number four is, this is awesome. A number three is, you still got it. You still got it. A number two is, what? And a number one is boring. Just watch the review video. It's going to be better anyways. I mean, I have to give this one a this is awesome. I agree with the people. This is awesome. I didn't want them to fight forever because it was just too brutal. It was too hard. I'm like, whew, I need a break. Can we... That was nuts. So <laughs> how do you think, what did you think about this video? Take a moment to let me know. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share. And for more WrestleCat videos, click the link below. Until next time, guys, I'm Lady J. I keep it lucha.